Good afternoon, everyone. Well, five weeks have passed since Odson Edward wheeled away in celebration as Palace beat Southampton at Sellers Park. And there has been no men's first team action here since. But even as the World Cup provides thrills and spills are plenty, it's time to get back to work for Patrick Vieira's side. Here's Michael Elise standing over this set piece. Elise's effort is a good one, but in the end, Perry watched it over the crossbar. A little rusty. Hughes tries to make amends, and here's Riedeval. Now Elise, Edward peeling away in front of him. Hudson Edward first touches loose. Perry does just enough and then forces it behind for the Palace corner. But what a chance for Hudson Edward. Excellent chance. Jafinho to Tiquinho. Here's Jafinho. What a challenge that is from young Kofi Barmer. And then Tompkins gets in just in time. People are real tough, strong tackles. Uh, It's a good ball to Edward. Here's Elise. Space to shoot. There is. And Perry gets down well and does just enough. The best chance we've seen so far. Points up in midfield. That's a nice flick from Will Hughes. And here is Zaha in behind for the first time. Still Zaha goes down. Wow. Well, the referee was very quick in saying no foul. We have to see that one again because it certainly looked interesting. Riedeval, defender has slipped and Zaha is in. Zaha skips oh. inside and this time it will be a penalty. And Palace will have the opportunity to take the lead from 12 yards. Zaha brought down. And here's a penalty to Crystal Palace. Wilfred Zaha against Lucas Perry. And Perry saves. And it stays goalless and it sparks wild celebrations in the away end. Here's Riedeval to Edward. Edward still. Is there space for the shot? Here we go. Blocked. Now Edward. Oh. Almost fell for John Kamani Gordon. And that there is the final go. action of the first half. Just have to get that timing right. It's taken quickly to Ebue. Ebue's ball in is met by Lucas Perry. Now Ebue. Step overs. Ball towards the far post and Gordon. Will it fall for Eze? Not quite. Now Botafogo can break away. It's a really <laughs> speculative effort from the halfway line. And there are some bemused looks. And I'm one of them. From, the, uh, from his teammates because it was nowhere near catching Jackpot. Here's Adaramola. Dangerous ball in. It goes all the way to the far post where Abue is waiting. Abue, excellent footwork. Manages to dig out across. Oh. In the end, Terry just about gets two hands on it. It's a chance for Palace to test this defence. Eze's ball in is deflected. It's a good save from Perry. It remains goalless just. Turns ball into Cheche. There are two Botafogo players over here. And crosses in. And here's Junior Santos. It wasn't far away. It almost sent the huge away following into Raptures. Jack Butler was glad to see that flash over the crossbar. They're on top of this game now. Can they capitalise? Into Schlapp and the flag stays down. Schlapp to Mateta. And it's corner. But it's a goal-saving challenge from Adrielsen. Eze. Eze's ball into Jeff Schlapp. Can he get there? Schlapp still. Unselfishly across. Oh, and Ebue no. is denied on the line. Heroic defending from the visitors, and somehow it remains goalless. Wow. Should have found him as well. Eze towards Mateta. Oh, Defenders made a mess of it. Here's Jean-Philippe Mateta. Across the face of goal towards Ibue. The pass was just too heavy. He asked a lot of Malcolm Ibue. Oh. And there's no time for the free kick to be taken. And that is that. It's a goalless draw at Sellers Park as football returns to SE25 for the first time in this World Cup break. But it was an engaging game nonetheless. Palace missed the chance for the penalty spot. They had one cleared off the line. There were some last-ditch challenges from the visitors. And in the end, they managed to keep the clean sheet.